Oh, this worked. Shit. Hello there, I'm Connor Cacti and welcome back to this week's dinner. Right now there's too much going on, I will not be able to upload this every week. Uh, but we will still call it this week's dinner because I will at maximum upload one a week. <laughs> it will probably be a lot less. But when I do feel I have some time over, like today, uh, I felt like Let, let's make another video. We will need a lot of mushroom, a yellow onion, garlic, rice, vegetable broth, cheese, and some non-alcoholic white wine. So we're gonna start by cutting down the mushrooms and then we're going to put it in a pan, frying the mushrooms in some olive oil. There's so much mushroom, I don't really know where we should start. Let's start with these ones. So we're going to use three different kinds of mushrooms and I, I do not know my mushrooms that well. Uh, so I don't know which kind of mushrooms I am using. I have written it down. So you will see it in the description if I don't put it up here on the screen, which I probably won't. But at least you will see it in the description if you would like to do the recipe. That's not enough. Oh, this worked. Shit. <laughs> that didn't go that well. Uh, and we need to cut it down in thin slices and we'll cut it over. So we have some small pieces here. I don't want them to be too big when we have them in the risotto. You will still... What shit? <laughs> This is going great, don't question it. Uh, because you will, you, I, I like to feel them, at least when I put it in my mouth, I like to feel it. Some people maybe don't like to feel it in their mouth. They just don't, don't want to know that it's been there. But I, I prefer that. I prefer to know what I've had in my mouth. Have you ever done a mushroom risotto before? You have? Oh, you haven't? Oh, I thought you said you had. Okay. Well, you're in luck because I haven't done this either. I think I did it one time two years ago. I found a recipe that I thought would be fun. That's the first time ever I did a risotto and it was the last time I did a risotto. It did work out, it did work out really great, actually. But I never came around to do another batch. But now when all the mushrooms are back in the store. What better time could we have? So that's the last of them. Let's move over to these kinds. And I don't know what this is either, but it looks tasty. What am I doing even? How do I cut down these? Maybe we can just cut them. I don't know what you do with these ones. Can I, should I cut this off? I think we can eat that. I don't think we need to cut it off. Let's just cut right over then. I think this is... Yeah. This is probably how you do it. Is there really a wrong way to cut down mushrooms? I don't think so. I don't think there is. I do not think so. If you have another opinion, well, keep it to yourself, man. I'm not even going to listen. I have all this place to myself. <clears throat> what do you say? I mean, is this your place? Yes. I own all the land around here. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I was just trying to go on a journey. I'm going to show you some exploration. I'm going to explore your butt. Turn around. No, not my butt. Yes, your butt. No, not my butt. Then we'll move on to the last ones. I think since this these ones are built a little bit differently, maybe we can cut them you know, like this. No, I don't think that will work. Let's try with these two. I mean, it will be quicker if, if we could cut down more than once at a time. It seem to work. I don't know how much mushroom is enough or too much. But we are going to know once the dinner is served. I don't know what you think, but I'm starting to believe maybe I overdid this. Nah, I don't think that's too much mushrooms. No, I'm confident in this. <laughs> that is not too much. That That is just, mm, that is just enough. So I've heated up the pan with some olive oil 
And that is warm. So we can put the mushrooms in now. Let's start with this. Maybe we will need a bigger frying pan. I didn't think about that. But let, let's try, let's try. Let's see if we can get all of this in. I think this is going to work. You will see. You will see. Just be a little bit of a believer here. Yeah. Okay, so let's just... <laughs> let's... <laughs> let's just... <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know what I'm going to say. Let's just leave this here, okay? Because w once the water has come out... <laughs> I think everything will fit right in. I think this is the exactly perfect amount of mushrooms to this dish. And I am very confident in my decision. So now we have that going, let's move over to the yellow onion. We are going to cut this down. Whoops, I almost made a mistake. I almost made a mistake take there. To cut them down, it's so fun to cut them down. I'm having the best time of my life, cause it's so fun to cut it down. And in it goes, and in it goes, nice. Take the next one. On to the garlic. Now you could use. Let's take that little bit away. That didn't look good. It was totally brown. Well, you could use a garlic press if you're a bitch. But I learned another trick to mince. To mince garlic. I don't know if this will work. <laughs> I've never done it before. But you press it down, so we'll have this little mixture. Uh, then we should just let the blade work. This didn't go as good as I thought it would. Okay, let's collect it in the middle again, and then press it one more time. Real press it. That's better, I think. Because I heard this will bring out more flavor to it. Is that true? I have no idea, but that is what I've heard. And what is my sauce, you ask? Well, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> it might have been a dream. I don't have any sauce. But I reckon I heard this will bring out the flavor more, so... I don't know if I should press this again or just cut it. Let's press the shit. Okay, collect it up. And then work over again. So we'll put this in with the jello onion. It's starting to look a lot better now. See, we're almost at the level. It really has shrank. Shrunk? Shrinking? Shrunk. I'm gonna go with shrunk. Now we're going to put in the rice here with the uh, garlic and the onion. Just like this. And now it is very important that you stir this. Uh, like you saw, I had put some butter in. And it's very important that all of the rice has the butter on it. So I've heard. <laughs> we need eight deciliter of boiling water and we are going to put in the broth. So now we're going to put in the wine and half of the broth uh, into the rice. We're going to let this boil up and we will let it boil until all of the, uh, all of the broth and the wine uh, is gone. I believe that looks like all the broth is gone. So we are going to just put in the rest of it as well. And we are going to let this boil away as well, but we are going to need to do some stirring. So we are just going to stir this around. Hell yeah! And then we will let this be until almost all of the broth is gone. The mushrooms are looking well. Oh, it looks really good now. And um, this is soon finished. Look at it! Just a little bit more, I think about 2-3 minutes perhaps. 
and then we'll be able to do the whole mixture we are going to put in the cheese we're going to put in the uh, the mushrooms and then just blend it all together and then we will taste that just to see how it tastes because we need we might need some other spices i don't know look how dark it's become behind me <laughs> it was so light when we started this but now well shit that looks beautiful well i'm just going to throw all the things in and blend it together and we'll see what we have well that looks just marvelous that looks really really good so tasty i put in some spices as well just some salt and some pepper but let's Let's just taste it, see if we need some more, maybe. Could be, could be. No, no, that is really good. That is really good. I hope you'll taste something like this, because this is amazing, believe me. Mm. Yeah, I'm really hungry now, I'm going to eat. Are you ready for the reveal? So there it is, this week's dinner. Some mushroom risotto. Oh, that looks amazing. I'm really hungry now, just looking at it. I really have an appetite. Look at that. Come on, that, that looks amazing. I think we nailed the consistency, didn't we? I mean, look at it. It seems really juicy, but it's not watery. I think for being the first time, well, the second time, if you count that one time for two years ago, for being the second time doing a risotto, I think we did quite good. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope yours tastes as good as mine. Have a nice evening, and I'll see you in the next one.